Well, Jeff, there are only two undefeated teams in Section 5 hockey through two weeks, and we are joined by one of them. They are the cadets of Hilton, Coach Chris Monfaletto, and his players Joshua Radler, Luigi Borelli, and Jack Simmons, his three senior captains. Guys, congratulations on the hot start, and welcome to the show. Thank Thank you. Thank you. So we're five games in, which is funny as it may sound, is about almost halfway through the season. Um, You're outscoring your opponents 22 to 8, but you've had – three one goal games coach what what's clicking and why are these guys being able to, to deliver it? two overtime games too? three one goal two overtimes what's clicking for this team I think it's the testament to our leadership uh, especially these three guys that are here today uh, but all of our seniors and all of our upperclassmen you know it's uh it's been a great situation so far having this kind of kind of group that we have we've been through a lot together as a group last year and then you know everything that's gone on this year it's just these guys have a will to win and uh, they're just really, really tight, like a family. So they never, never give up, never quit. Jack Simmons question for you is if I had told you a month ago, not that you'd be playing cause we all hoped you'd be playing, but that you'd already would have in the first five games equaled last year's win total. Would you have been surprised? How surprised are you with the start of this group? Are you, have you guys succeed or, you know, surpass what you thought you could do? Uh, <laughs> That's as, uh, like the season goes on but uh i feel like we have a very close group of guys that always stay positive on the bench and we're not we're never negative at all um but we're always positive and we're very close very close group that makes us a, su- a successful team so well, we've had we've got a couple guys who've scored winning goals this week uh luigi got the ot ot winner uh against gates chile on tuesday and Josh had the game-winning goal, the only goal, in a win over Greece on Thursday in the third period. Uh, Josh, you're a defenseman. You got the winning goal. Um, talk about the play and talk about the confidence your team has right now. Um, yeah, you know, it was a great play. We were just at the end of a power play. So I think um, came down the boards, or um, Jack rimmed it around the boards. Luigi grabbed it. It went to Griffin Bickham. Um, he didn't have anything, so he just tossed it back to me. Um, I kind of had to corral it and I knew um, there was someone coming behind me from the box, you know, so I just threw it on net. There was a bunch of screeners and just, just barely got through. And uh, yeah, it felt great. Um, You know, I think everybody's just buying in, Um, you know, everybody's working hard Um, and yeah, we do feel very confident right now. You know, Uh, we've, we're five and oh, no losses. Um, Yeah, it feels, feels very good. Next game is scheduled for today, Saturday, as we play this on the radio. Uh, 1 p.m. at Genesee Valley against the combined team of Brighton, HFL, and East Rochester. Luigi Borelli, in these moments, these big moments, how do you maintain your poise? Are you, I mean, you're, we're both Italian guys. We're hot-blooded, right? Are you, are, can you, do you have to manage those emotions, or, or, or are you a pretty po- po- poised guy? Um, there's times where the emotions will get away from me here and there and I'll take a penalty, but I'll always come back, control myself, regroup, and I'll go out there one focus and that's winning and helping my teammates do everything they can to succeed. And it kind of brings me back to play how I know how to play. Steve, I got a quick one for the coach. Coach, if I had told you a month ago that through the first five games, you would have equaled last year's win total, would that have surprised you at all? I don't think so. I, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, again, we as a group at the end of last season uh, made a commitment to each other and commitment to what we we're doing and what we wanted to do, you know, and with this whole time we've had off, we weren't able to get together uh, up until probably a couple of weeks before the season started. And I knew that everyone though was doing their own workouts and staying committed to what we're doing and, and making sure they're taking care of business in school and things of that nature. So you know, uh, I honestly, again, as, as all the guys have said, we are a very, very close group. Um, I've really never had a team that has been this close. And I think that's, we're just reaping the benefits of it. Just, you know, there's, there's always somebody that's stepping up at different times for us. And I, you know, it, every night's a different guy. So it's, it's been great. Coach just kind of alluded to this a little bit, Jack, but I, I'd like your perspective as, as a defenseman, you know, you know, one goal games can go either way and, to be three and zero and have two in overtime, um, what you know? What's carrying you through there? I mean, when you get one that late goal late yesterday, 
you've got to be on cloud nine, but it, the reality is hockey, a, a, a funny bounce here and there. It's a tie game, but you guys have been able to make those plays. How come? Uh, it's all about positivity. We got to stay positive and we got to work hard on the ice and we just got to be out there and uh, support each other on the bench and, you know, tell the boys that we got this and to play de defensively and uh, to just stay positive. So you mentioned positivity coach. It's your 11th year as head coach, Chris, 26 with the program. I got to ask you about the origins of, of your goal song, Run, Run Away by, by the English group Slade. Um, you know, I've heard it played after goals. I see it on social media. I hear that song. I get fired up. Where, where does that come from? And I, they're, they're an old band, but th these guys like the tune? Uh, they, I, they love it. Um, <laughs> the origins of that has to do with uh, my assistant coaches and myself. We were sitting around one day uh, trying to determine what goal song we wanted to play. And uh, that song came on and we we're just like, it would be absolutely perfect. We matched it with the goal horn from the uh, Edmonton Oilers actually. And we let it run in. We had it done actually professionally by someone that we know. And it, <laughs> it just came, came, you know, from that actually. So stand, stand by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that song was recorded in 1984. That's an old tune. That's pretty darn cool. Um, are you guys also watching Cobra Kai too? What's going on? I mean, Without question, yes. Yeah? Okay. Uh, we're talking Hilton hockey here on the Connors and Ferris High School Sports Show on our specialties hotline. Uh, Coach, have you needed to change how you handle, how much have you needed to change the practice schedule and how you do this in such a shortened season? You know, one of the things that uh, we're going six days a week now for, you know, the entirety of our season now for six weeks. Um, you know, in the beginning, we were doing a lot more conditioning because, you know, in as much as we've been, guys have been working out and came back in shape. They really weren't in hockey shape. So uh, we've kind of limited that since we've been getting going during the season. And to be completely honest with you, one of the things that we have talked about as a coaching staff is making sure that every time we're on the ice, we're having fun, you know, and, and a lot of it, you know, before, you know, we would always kind of have fun in practice, but it was more, you know, detail orientated and, and making sure we're taking care of that. This year, we're kind of, you know, having every time that we're on the ice, every, and I say to the guys all the time that every day that we're playing hockey is a good day. And, uh, you know, we got to make sure that we're enjoying it, make sure we're, we're, you know, maximizing what we can do on the ice. So with that, you know, it's just, uh, we're having a good time. We're having a lot of fun and, and really take, not taking for granted uh, that we have this opportunity. Luigi, you and uh, Griffin Bickham, who uh, scored one of the goals of the year a couple of days ago, the Michigan goal. We can't go through the segment without mentioning that. Well, hang on um, a second. How, what does that mean to some idiot like me? What does the Michigan <laughs> goal mean? It's like the Luigi, Mich Michigan why don't, you, man? why don't you describe it? Oh, the came from some kid, I don't know, I think in the 80s, 90s. He, 90s. His name was Mike Legg. There you go. He played for Michigan, and he was behind the net, and he picked up the puck on his stick wrapped it around and tucked it top corner. And ever since that, I know Schnetzikoff is doing it in the NHL and it's gone viral. And Griffin, he found the skill and put one in. It was crazy. Now you got the overtime winner that night. And it and usually the guy that gets the OT winner is the most talked about goal. But Griffin and you both have nine points. You're tied for the team lead in scoring. Um, you know, that that's just super cool. But talk about your your goal that won, won the game in – a game against Gates Chile, who was also undefeated coming in. Um, it was kind of broken, a broken play down in our zone, and the puck squirted out. Dom Goodnow played a made a good defensive play. Puck squirted out, carried it down the ice, made a move, got the puck to the front of the net, and rebound came out. Dom Goodnow took the shot, and rebound was sitting right at my feet, and I buried it. Hey. Let me ask Josh Radler a question about the goaltending for this squad, because uh, yeah. as a defenseman, you, you must have a lot of confidence there. Are you guys splitting time between uh, is Luciano, Chinappi, another Irish guy, and uh, is it Chris Sidoti? Is that how you say it, Coach? Chris Sidoti? Yeah, yeah so, Chris Sidoti, yeah. Are you guys splitting time? Is yeah. That, yes. um, yeah. Josh, tell me about these. What, what are the strengths of these goalies for you, Josh? Um, you know, they're both phenomenal. Um, it's, not a, it's not a thing where – because right now they're going every other game. Um, so it's not a thing where, you know, every other game we're like, oh, we have either him or him or not. It, we feel confident in both goalies. You know, they're both phenomenal. Um, Luch played – or Chris played phenomenal last night. Luch played phenomenal against Gates. So we have 
a lot of confidence in our goalies, no matter who's in that. Um, and they're just playing great. They're, they're keeping us in a lot of games and helping us win all of our games. Yeah, we're, we're almost halfway through, as I mentioned. Uh, 5-0 and is great, but I'm sure that with uh, this season being a sprint rather than a marathon, um, you guys, you know, it's important how you finish. Talk about what's next and, and how you're keeping everything, you know, from, from getting ahead of yourselves. And, you know, with, you're not sneaking up on anybody anymore. With only two undefeateds, everybody's going to have Hilton circled. Uh, so like Coach said last, uh, last night, we're not the hunters, we're the hunted. So we got to work as hard as we can to uh, stay this success successful and uh, uh, just stay positive and, you know, keep the ball rolling, keep winning, keep going on them streaks and, you know, stay positive. Mr. Jaritzi will be mad that I don't know this, but and Coach Monfaletto, has Hilton ever won a Section 5 championship in hockey? I, I don't recall it. We have not. We have not. We have never been to a final, actually. We've been to uh... – Several semifinals, but we've never even been to a final. So, Well, let's make some more history this year, gentlemen, instead of uh, just saying it's the year of the shortened season and COVID style. Hey, guys, congrats on having a season, first of all. Congrats yeah. on a great start. Steve, anything Thanks. else? we got time for one more. Well, I, I just, you know, maybe just to coach, he's talked about the positivity and having fun. And, you know, with a season, in a traditional season, you know, there's blocks. There's, there's Thanksgiving to Christmas. There's January. And then they're, they're gearing up for sectionals. How are you approaching the season? Are you looking at each week as a different segment or is it it's day to day as you move forward? It's day to day. You know, our that's that's been our, our mantra all season is that every day that we're playing hockey is a good day. Um, you know, today we're going to have practice and have a good one. And then tomorrow we're right off to Genesee Valley to play Brighton and another tough game. You know, we, we were fortunate enough to beat them in overtime the first game of the year. So that's what we're taking as every day, just day to day. And we're going to we're going to worry about what we worry about on a daily basis. Guys, thanks for being on the program. Hilton Hockey, good luck the rest of the season. Hope to talk to you again, maybe after the Section 5 championship game. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. As we head to our first break, Steve Bradley, let's tell our friends about uh, uh, bathfitter.com, 617-0007. If you want to remake your bathroom in one day, they can do it in one day. If you have more time, that's great too. Uh, ask them about financing options. Uh, there's a reason Bathfitter in Rochester is one of the top volume sales operations in the country. Little old Rochester. It's because they do great work. Check out what they can do online for you. Bathfitter.com or give them a call. 617-0007. You're listening to the Connors and Ferris High School Sports Show brought to you by Salvatore's Pizza. <laughs> 